Yo, hopefully y'all enjoyed that interview with Shamik, man. That dude is super talented and highly confident. I like self-aware people. Right. I like right. I like people who are not fake humble. <laughs> you know, he's talented and he pushing the line. I, I I appreciate that a thousand percent, man. Um, it's it's a couple things that dropped today, man. I wanted to discuss before we get out of here. First and foremost, uh, grand opening, grand closing for our boy Kevin Hart. He, he got picked to host the Oscars, and then they. Came out and said he said some stuff about gay people 10 years ago, I what? believe. And, and he stepped down. But the crazy part is he he came in. They me and said, too, them shawty. Yeah, he said, I'm not going to apologize for something I already apologized for. And then he went on Twitter and apologized <laughs> and said he was stepping away from it. So I'm like, I wonder what, I don't even know what the tweets were. The article I read didn't even have the old tweets or whatever. But I'm like, and I'm not making no excuses, but... Kevin Hart is one of the most, like, clean comedians of comedians that ain't super clean right. that there is. And he says crazy stuff on his show every week on Sirius XM. So I'm like, to me, that's like, he probably got too big for his britches for somebody. And they was like, all right, let's go ahead and. And, and reel him back yeah, in. Yeah, I'm like, it's like, I mean, of, of all the things, like, I mean, like, who, like, who, who blew the whistle on that? Did this like come out the ether? Bro, like, I, like, I, like, I who honestly, blew the I don't know. Herb, do you know? Do you know who put it out there? I don't know. I'm sure y'all can Google it and find out. But I literally just saw this like maybe 30, 40 minutes ago. I was like, that's crazy. Well, I guess I. I guess all those rumors, Mike Epps and all them were throwing out about that man are not true. Because, like, that man was really was, you know, gay like everybody trying to make it out like that. It's like, they would not have gotten rid of him for, you know, nah, that. You definitely know, like, not. Man, definitely that's, that's not. That's garbage, man. Yeah, I'm like, you know. They no, meet two and folks over tweets. Bro, my thing <laughs> is. Well, 10 years I'm, ago. I'm pretty sure, and I'm not making excuses for nobody. I'm pretty sure that. You can find something that is not PC about every person that has ever hosted the Oscars. Because I believe Whoopi Goldberg is hosted. She used to go in on her comedy sets. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm sure you can find some. Uh, Chris Rock, hasn't he hosted the Oscars? Yeah. Before? And we know Chris Rock talked that shit. So I'm like, come on, man. But, you know, it is what it is. Another thing, the Grammy nominations will push back to today, hmm. which is the uh, Friday, December 7th, from the other day because they didn't want to interfere with George Bush's funeral. I didn't really understand what George Bush has to do with the entertainment industry. Well, I mean, he's a dead president. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they tend to do that when, like, presidents die gotcha. or, okay. or you know saying something like that like gotcha. they, they, everybody does kind of they ain't like gonna do it when 45 die i guarantee you that <laughs> they ain't pushing back but <laughs> i was talking with some folks the other day i mean you know it's, it's it's gotta be nice to live long enough to where you <laughs> die nobody has anything bad to say about you because the way they are talking about george bush Bruh. in his death i'm like who is this dude? Because growing up, all I heard was, man, this man put crack in the hood. Bruh. You know what I'm saying? The economy Bruh. tanking because of this man. We in a war because Bruh. of this man. But everything's like, he was a prudent man. He was Bruh. a good man. I mean, not saying that he couldn't be, but it's like, when uh, I think George Bush, I'm thinking crack implementation uh, agency. Goddamn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I saw somebody do a meme. <laughs> they took one of the headlines from the newspapers oh, and yeah, said, crack drug kingpin right, dies yeah, at yeah, 94. Because yeah, yeah. like, I'm like, fam, I, you know, and I'm, I'm not here to judge nobody. If you want to RIP, RIP. If you don't, you don't. I ain't going to speak bad on nobody that's dead. But I'll say this. People keep being like, well, people change and yada, yada, yada. No. If you ran the CIA and you were president of the United States, you made decisions that have ramifications for decades. Yeah. It ain't like your asshole auntie or your dope fiend cousin died. <laughs> and you don't speak. This is somebody right. whose decisions directly affected your life. Right. So there's a difference. Period. But anyway, we ain't even we mm. get on here to talk about him. But um, the Grammy nominations came out. Right. So Kendrick and, and, and TDE, they just, man. All How you, you release one project, I believe, this year. We got eight sound, nominations. We just, we just a soundtrack. Yes, got yeah, eight that. nominations. Song of the year, record of the year. Album of the year. Album of the year. Uh, Drake got a gang of nominations, too, which that's well-deserved. I'm not even a Drake fan, but the fact that he's never been nominated for album of the year is kind of crazy. Yeah. As big as he is. 
Um, shout out to Cardi B, man. The, the recently almost divorced Cardi B. <laughs> for, for, for She got a gang of nominations too, man. Record of the year for I Like It. Uh, what else? Oh, Invasion of Privacy got album of the year. Rap album of the year as well. Uh, the new 2018 Kid Rock, a.k.a. Post, Post Malone. Malone. He got nominations too. You know he gonna win some too. And you know, uh, I'm looking at the nominations, and, and you can tell that them eat, um, opening up it up to, to eight, eight more. Well, not even just the number of nominations. It's uh, like you know how you know a couple years ago they opened it up to okay, we're going to count the streaming artists too. I think this has a lot right. to do with yeah, yeah, the yeah. diversity that we're seeing, you know, in all of these fields. You know what I'm saying? So that that, that this definitely had an impact on the nominations. For sure. And it's like, I wonder, like, you know, what folks are going to find to complain about or what or what room there is for the quote unquote BS to be pulled, as they like to say. I'm looking at the album of the year category, which is like the the, the grand finale. They got Cardi B, Brandy Charlie, Drake, H E R, her, Post Malone, Janelle Monet, Casey Musgraves, and the Black Panther soundtrack. So it's like is this going to be the year where it's like, finally, we're going to give it to somebody black that's in hip hop culture? Or do you think they're going to find a way to be if, like, if we're going to give it to the Post Malone guy or give no, it to one of the if, pop stars? If Post Malone stars. wins album of the year, I'm never watching the Grammys. <laughs> um, I kind of think Janelle Monet may get this one. She had a pretty awesome year. And, and she, you know, she's kind of a media darling now. Yeah, she on the cover of Fast Company. You exactly. Know? And, but, Media darling on some like, this is a very smart woman, yeah. and this is also a very talented woman. Right. Like she checks both buckets for sure. Um, I personally, I don't think Black Panther is going. I don't think anything called Black Panther is going to win a major I mean, I mean, award. They liked it. Like they liked it. Like, they liked it. We, we liked it. We gonna it. see. Um, I was very surprised at Best New Artist. I was surprised Ella May wasn't in there. Uh, very surprised at that. Chloe and Haley is in there. That's that Beyonce connection. Her is in there. Georgia Smith is in there. That kind of surprised me as well. Um, but the rap nominations, I'm I'm most definitely rooting for J-Rock to win Rap Song of the Year for win. His mm. album should have been nominated. It mm. wasn't. But uh, I'm glad they had him in there. And the, uh, the song, The King's Dead, is nominated a couple times, which is dope as well. One thing I thought was ill is Sicko Mode is nominated for Rap Song of the Year. And one of the, they have Big Hawk listed as a writer. Mm. So that would be kind of dope, man. I want J-Rock to win, but for Big Hawk to get a possum as right. Grammy would yeah, be pretty they're, crazy. They're, they're, that, that one's probably going to Drake or Travis. I hope not, man. It's, 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 yeah, I mean, guys playing, like they 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 giving that to Drake or Travis. It's, 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 it's going to be one of them for the best rap song. And now, this is America. Best rap album, though. Best rap album. Like Nip, I hope Nipsey wins. That would be nice, but I think they're <laughs> they're they're I, I I see them giving it to Travis or or Mac. I see them. Giving I, you don't, it to don't think Travis Cardi? You Mac. don't think Cardi? Mm. Cardi had the best year of any rapper. Yeah, she period, did. She did. Period. She did. Period. Hands down. She did. And she's nominated for a gang of stuff. And normally, if you don't get the big joints, you're gonna get one of the Some. subcategories. Right. Right. So she's gonna win something. Uh, for everything that they got right, or was pretty good. Once again, for the third or fourth year in a row, in the jazz category, Kamasi Washington was not nominated. <laughs> How? <laughs> this dude's album is on every top 50 list from NPR to Complex to whoever put out a top 50 list right. regardless of genre. He is the most relevant jazz artist and has been for years. And I understand that it's a peer thing, and I'm wondering if it's people that vote that just yeah, don't yeah, vote yeah, on the I mean, jazz like, category because they with, don't with, know. With jazz, it's like they, they 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 they. I'm assuming they probably still have some work to do. You know what I'm saying? Because like jazz is still not, you know, popular music. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the other categories like country, R&B, rap, all that stuff. It's like those things are. Like on the popular stratosphere, jazz is not so. Like, there's still a lot of old energy going but, into the jazz. But you also got to remember that all of the members vote or supposed to vote on all of the categories. It's not just like jazz artists only vote on the jazz mm -hmm. category. So I'm like, as so much as Kamasi has a lot of old energy there, but so it's weird as much as he's touched 
with Kendrick, with Snoop, with the whole like you would think it's there is not a musician out of that camp or a rapper or a singer from Ty Dolla Sign down that don't know who this dude is. So I'm like, how are people not nominating him and voting for him? Hell, as much stuff as he's done and the dude's constantly touring. They always throw a monkey wrench in there. I'm honestly surprised he hasn't got nominated for album of the year. Hmm. You know like I, mean? I don't, and I know that they're not. He's not the type of cat, from what I know. Yeah, that he he goes hard with nominate me, nominate me, nominate hmm. me, because you know that a lot of artists campaign. But I'm like, damn, bro, <laughs> this dude is working on being a legend. And I, but then again, hey, Tupac, Snoop, and Nas. Right, no Grammy you know wins. Like, like the jazz category probably still has like a lot of work to do because, like, the, you know, you got a lot of old energy there still. And then even with the people that are that we think are aware of everything, you know, it may be one of them <laughs> syndromes where you know, like, voting season in politics. Like, right. there's some people that are like, okay, I'm going to vote for the sign I saw the most. I yeah. saw this sign outside the voting poll. I saw this sign on the billboard next to the uh, Zaxby's. Right, I'm voting for that person. <laughs> so it's like, so Zaxby's. when you sit there and get to the jazz categories, you're like. All right, Rain, wait, Wayne Shorter. I don't, okay, I know that name. Uh, and Wayne Shorter, dope. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Wayne Shorter, super dope. You know like, saying? not so, even knocking nobody right, that was nominated. Right, right. Wayne Shorter is ill, but come on, bro. <laughs> ain't none of these dudes doing Coachella. <laughs> ain't none of these dudes got nobody under 50 at their shows. Yeah. Like, knock it off, man. That, that's so crazy to me. But anyway, man, <laughs> we both got things to do. Let's get up out of here, man. Before I go, I want to shout out all the people that are registered voters in Georgia that bitched and moaned about uh, Brian Kemp being Secretary of State and didn't go vote in the runoff election. You are the real MVP. Anyway, we up out of here. Catch y'all next week with another dope show.